Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. These are scriptures on promises. Promise, a declaration or assurance that one will do a particular thing or that a particular thing will happen. It can be a word of honor, a pledge, a vow, or a guarantee. I will read the King James Version of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17-21. through 21. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God, for he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. The Amplified Version of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17-21 through 21. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is, grafted in, joined to him by faith in him as Savior, he is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition, have passed away. Behold, new things have become, new things have come, because spiritual awakening brings a new life. But all these things are from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ, making us acceptable to him and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, so that by our example we might bring others to him. That is, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, not counting people's sins against them, but canceling them, and he has committed to us the message of reconciliation, that is, restoration to favor with God. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were making his appeal through us. We as Christ's representatives plead with you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. He made Christ who knew no sin to judicially be sin on our behalf, so that in him we could become the righteousness of God. That is, we would be made acceptable to him and placed in a right relationship with him by his gracious loving kindness. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.